Okay. Okay, so look at topic limits. Topic limits, 8.1 limits. State the limits. How we state the limit. So this is the notation of limit where you can see LIM short form for limits. So this is meaning of limit of a function when x approaches to a value. So the behavior of this fx will be observed in the vicinity of x equals to a. So when your x is approaches to value f a, actually your function will be approaches to a particular value. So when you're writing a limit, so you must write this notation correctly. All right. So limit for a function. Uh, how you how you going to read it? Limit of a function when x approaches value. So bermaksud bila x nilai x berdekatan dengan sesuatu nilai, function kamu menghampiri nilai l. Okay. So maksud bila x menghampiri sesuatu nilai. X menghampiri sesuatu nilai. So, your function is approaching a value of L. So, menghampiri satu nilai. So, your function is approaching the value of L. Okay. So, of course, you also have one-sided limit. So, what is one-sided limit? You can see the notation here. When limit of a function for X approaches zero in the power of negative. In the position of power of negative. So in the position of power negative means you are approaches value of zero from left hand side. Okay, so this means the value of zero you are approaching from the left hand side. See what happened to your function. So observe your function. Nah, function kamu akan sampai nilai apa? Sampai menghampiri nilai apa? Macam tu. So if your x approaches zero in the power of positive means your approaches x from the zero from right hand side so you're going start from here <coughs> approaches x zero from the right hand side so what is your function uh, approaches to the value so this is one sided limit so last side so untuk ini adalah limit at the point so you are the you have to observe belah kiri dengan belah kanan juga okay Okay, so we we can understand this. So you can see, let's say we have a function x squared plus 1. Now we're going to uh, observe limit for this function, for this quadratic function when x approaches 0. So when x approaches 0, we can approach it from left hand side, approach it to right hand side. Approaches means menghampiri. Nilai semakin menghampiri dengan dia. So you can see, kalau if our value is 0, when you want to get near to the x of the 0, so you can see the coordinates. So this is what it means, x approaches 0 from the left hand side. x approaches 0 from the right hand side. So you start from 0 0.1, getting closer to 0, getting closer, it will be 0 0.01, 0 0.001, getting closer and closer. Alright? So x approaches 0 from the left hand side, you can see left hand side of the 0 means you start you come from negative height. So negative 0 0.1 or come closer, approaches closer, negative 0 0.1, negative 0 0.001, getting closer. So what happened to your quadratic? Uh, what happened to your quadratic function here? So your value of your quadratic, you can be observed if you approach, approach 0 from the left hand side, your quadratic function is approached to this value. So quadratic, value quadratic is nearing to value of 1. Okay, so when it approaches your x0 from the right hand side, what's your function? Your function is coming to this value. So this coordinate is what? When x equals to 0, your function is x squared plus 1, right? So your coordinate is 1. Okay, so our limit when... So repeat, uh, this is already repeat. When we finding the limit for this quadratic from left hand side, the graph is approaches to value of 1. This is coordinate of 1, 0, 1. So when you're finding your limit for the function, when x approaches 0 from the right hand side, so you can notice that your function also getting closer to value of 
one. So since you can see left hand side and right hand side approaching the function is the same value of one, so limit approaches function when x uh, approaches zero. Limit for the function x squared plus one when x approaches zero it is equals to one. The giri pun satu, kanan pun satu. So limit for that point approaching this point is equals to one. Okay, so properties of limit. So how we going to figure out our limit? So actually, actually in calculation, you can notice that in calculation, we are finding out the point. In calculation, kalau kita tengah kira-kira macam saya tahu nilai satu, sebab saya tengok koordinat x kosong, apakah koordinat untuk function saya, dia itu satu kan. This is the point of 0, 1. Okay, so bila kita kira point, kita tahu dia kat sini. Kosong, kosong, satu. Tapi, the idea of limit is means it is getting closer. So value is one, but when we explain this, means it is not occur on the one. It is getting closer to the answer of one. So that is the idea of limit. Menghampiri sesuatu. So in explanation, we always say menghampiri, approaching, approaching. So, but in calculating, actually we are finding out what is the coordinate. What is the function coordinate here? Okay, so to find, to find out this function coordinate, we just substitute the, coordin the coordinates. When s0 was your coordinates, so that is your function we are, we are going to approach to. Okay, so the properties here, so if you have a constant graph, so this is your function. Limit notation will be written on in this format, limit for a function. Whatever function you can get. You can get linear, you can get quadratic, cubic, whatever function that you have done. Okay, when x approaches to a value or coordinates. So if you get a constant, so your answer will get constant. So if you get a function at the x, so you can substitute your x to that function. So actually this is your coordinate for that function. So masukkan you punya, substitute you punya nilai x kepada a. Uh, so that is your coordinate. So just like just like the example when x approaches zero for the quadratic. So substitute zero into this function, it is equals to one. So calculation wise, we are finding the coordinates from the function. But explanation wise means your function is get near to one when your x approaches from zero. Okay, so cara kira-kira kamu just cari substitute dan cari je apa koordinat dia. Tetapi bila pun nak jelaskan benda ni, you have to understand that it is not on the dot. It is getting near to the function on that point. Getting near. So getting near to value of 1. When our x is getting near to 0. Kita menghampiri nilai kosong, function kita ataupun graph kita menghampiri nilai 1. Okay, so limit idea of approaching. Okay, so if you have the operation of two functions, uh, whether it's plus or uh, addition or subtraction or multiply or divide, you can you can do the limit notation one by one. So kamu boleh limit to the function f(x) then plus limit to the function g(x). So, kamu boleh buat independently, buat untuk function fx dulu, lepas tu buat untuk function gx kemudian, baru hasil tambah tolak, ataupun darab, ataupun bahagi. Okay, so but for division, you have to be careful, your numerator here will not be, will not be the limit approaching, the limit for function gx when x approaching a will not be zero, because when the denominator is zero, it is undefined. Okay, so we come to example 2. So limit to a constant, that constant. Alright, so uh, write your notation of limit correctly. Limit for the function constant, so it will be constant. So actually we can um, continue for question B. So I just 
for con x here. So when I want to find the limit for quadratic when x approaches, x approaches 3, we just substitute the value of 3 to the function. So it will become 3 square. So it will be equal to 9. So for question C, for question C, limit for the function 5x power of 4 when x approaches 3. So what do we do? We can straight substitute the coordinate of x, which is equal to 3. So figure out your function will be nearing to answer 405 okay so question d i don't want to scroll down i just write here question d limit for the function of quadratic when x approaches to 4, so we just figure out 4 squared minus 4. So once we substitute the coordinate inside, so our limit notation on it to write. Okay? So when we substitute here, you can see the limit notation that by to data. Means we are go we are on the we are on the process to getting nearing to the value of nearing to the value of what? Japan Sini? 44. So question E. Simplify this. So we will try try to substitute the x of four. So your function is getting near to the value of eighty eight when x approaches four. So finally, question f. So limit of a function when x approaches 4, so your function is near to the approaching the value of 3 over 23.